so all all of us here on the show, I would say it's it's fair to say that we're single issue voters. And my single issue is plastic lawn signs, which I think should be banned. And I'm wondering if I could get you to run on this platform because I will move to your ward in the next month to vote for you if you say yes. Well, here's the interesting thing. Like as a first time candidate, it's really confusing like what you know what's the canadian cultural you know what are you supposed to do to run a campaign here and yeah like i felt really torn up about getting law and science but here's where i give myself some comfort I, like, and this is actually legit like i'm an abstract artist using recycled materials so um i'm gonna have enough canvases to put paintings for the rest of my life if you know regardless of the outcome of the election so yeah um I don't know, like it, um, I've heard sentiments, like there's so many people who actually would prefer not to have a plastic lawn sign. So I, I think you actually have, you know, there's some, there's some merit there. Or I don't know, like what could be something that would be like biodegradable or kind of cool? Like, I don't know, like bubbles that will like, so that do you, you know, after election day, you like pop them and then they disappear. I don't know, like <laughs> so there's some kind of like technology like that, I, that, that would, I would be, I would be for that. Mm-hmm. So, Holograph. are you saying actually that you like you the the signs you put up have been made of like recyclable materials, or that was just a thing you wanted to do? Um, no, it's just something I wanted to do. So, like after mm. the election, yeah, like um, because because they're actually pretty decent material. Like you know, like they're 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 flat, they're sturdy, they're you know, a, a decent size to make paintings on, uh, which I've done before. Um, I've done paintings on um, picture frames, like the glass, like actual like picture picture frames, um, cork boards, um, white whiteboards. Yeah, yeah. So uh, definitely doable. Oh, so like the the ones that you have put out, like you are going to keep them and use them for like a lifetime's worth of canvases. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's actually a pretty cool idea. Um, I mean, you could even like give them out to like just say, hey, I have this man. Like, how many? D- would you say that you have had made for this election? Yeah, I'm happy to share. Um, I had 500 of these little guys and I have 50 of the large ones, which is four feet by four feet. Okay, yeah. So, I mean, you can you could give away signs to like 400 people in your, in your ward and still have more than enough canvases left over. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a legitimately cool idea. And I do believe that this could be a cross-partisan issue because I I don't think I've ever met anyone who's like, no, we need these. Like, no one loves them. We just kind of do it, I think, as a matter of routine. And I mean, for every single candidate that's ever... I mean, even if somebody has won an election, they're not going to reuse their signs because they have you have to write re-elect right if you've been elected like you can't just you can't just paint it on your old sign of course yeah (laughs) you could put stickers though which is actually what i did for my lawn signs here's a you know honest confession for you guys i made a typo on the ward name on my lawn signs which was (gasps) stressful so (laughs) tweeting this out right now i'm just kidding i don't have a twitter go on (laughs) so but what i did is i was able to order from the same company uh like a vinyl sticker uh stickers um and then just like paste it on so it it was an easy fix so my hope you know in the future i think yeah just like on the corner like this corner of the lawn sign maybe i'll put a sticker there like re-elect or something like that yeah so at, at least that's the idea (laughs) 